Hi, today we are going to discuss about Zscaler tenancy restrictions. This feature allows you to restrict access either to personal account, business accounts, or both for certain cloud applications. It consists of two parts, creating tenancy profiles and associating them with the cloud app control or policy rules. For example, you can restrict access to content specific to your organization on YouTube by creating a tenant profile. Corporate YouTube channel with your organization's YouTube channel ID can create it with a tenancy profile and that tenancy profile uh, can associate it with your YouTube cloud app control rule to allow access. So when you do that, only the specific YouTube channels will be accessible, the rest will be blocked. As of now, Zscaler support these many applications to do the tenancy restrictions. Today, we are going to discuss about how to do the restriction on YouTube. Let's jump in and see the configuration. Under ad administration, you can go to access control tenancy profiles where you can create the tenancy profile. So when you are creating the tenancy profile, it will ask you to uh, select the application. You can choose the application name and profile name and under which application, what are the specific configurations are there that you can choose based on your need. I'm choosing cloud uh, channel ID. So channel ID will help you to uh, allow access only for the specific channel. The rest will be blocked. So I have chosen uh, three, four, three channel IDs. So only uh, I'm going to give the access to the users only to those particular channel IDs. Under cloud app control, you can go to streaming media and there is a policy for streaming media over here. And you could see the YouTube channels are added and the specific uh, tenants profile, which we created earlier is uh, chosen here and the access is allow, uploading is allow. And the rest of the configuration like location group and those details you can choose based on your needs. The most importantly, SSL inspection is required to enable the tenancy restrictions. We have to ensure that SSL inspection is enabled for that particular destinations. Here uh, I have um, connected Zscaler client connector and it is uh, on state. I'm going to access YouTube now. You can see the list of um, URLs, um, uh, videos under the YouTube channel. So when you try to access any of the YouTube channel, so you could see that you are offline. So I'm just trying to access. So when when you see that uh, YouTube channels, there is a, uh, at the end, there, there is an attribute. This attribute is nothing but video attribute and you have channel ID attribute as well. So let, let me show you how to find out the channel ID. So this channel is uh, playing as of now because I have allowed the access to this channel. So how will you identify the channel ID? You can go here uh, at the end, you could see the channel ID. Okay. Now the other channels uh, are blocked and you could see the message like you are offline, check your connections. Okay, that's it uh, today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.